Good day, students. Welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problem 23 of the 1973 AP Calculus multiple choice question. And uh, this is problem seven of our limits review series. All right, so for part 23, number 23, we are to find the limit as h approaches zero of one over h times the natural logarithm of 2 plus h over 2, okay? So this is, problem is assessing your ability to use the limit definition of a derivative to find the derivative of a function at a particular point, okay? So before we get started evaluating this limit, let's write down the limit definition of a derivative, okay? There are two of them. But the one we are going to be using here is this variation. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of um, f of x plus h, f of x plus h, minus f of x. and then the whole thing divided by h, okay? So this is one variation of the limit definition of a derivative. So um, this is to find the derivative at any point x. Now, what if we want to find the derivative at a point a? f prime of a is going to be um, the limit as h approaches 0 of the same thing, but we're going to replace x with a, okay? f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h, okay? All right, so this is the, the um, limit definition of a derivative at um, a point a. There's another variation um, of this f prime of a can also be written using a, another um, type of limit, but let's just focus on this one for this problem, all right? So let's rewrite this um, limit in, in this form. So in the problem, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over h times the natural logarithm of 2 plus h over 2. Well, this looks nothing like what we have here. So we have to carry out some, you know, manipulation to this expression to make it look like this. So what can we do here? Well, we're going to employ the quotient property of logarithms. If you think back to algebra 2, and 1, the natural logarithm of x over y can be written as the natural logarithm of x minus the natural logarithm of y quotient property of logarithms, okay? So um, we're going to rewrite this in this form. So the limit now becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of, let me color code it here, 2 plus h minus what? Minus the natural logarithm of the denominator, natural logarithm of 2 divided by, you see that 1 over h, we just distribute it, just multiply it um, to the 1 in the denominator here, so we'll have this entire expression divided by h, okay? All right, so can you see how this fits this form? What we have is ln of 2 is f of a, okay? where um, a is equal to 2. And then ln of um, 2 plus h is f of a plus h. All right? So let's just focus on this one. If f of a, which is equal to um, f of 2, if f of 2 is a natural logarithm of 2, then what is f of x? It's simply going to be the natural logarithm of x right? 
So this limit is basically, look, we're looking for the derivative of this function at x equals 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite the problem. The goal is always to rewrite it in derivative form as a derivative problem, and it's easier to compute, okay? So the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over h times, uh oh, times the natural logarithm of natural logarithm of 2 plus h over 2 is the same as same as finding f prime of 2 where f of x is equal to the natural logarithm of x. Okay, so they mean exactly the same thing. But in this, if you were presented with this problem, find the f prime of 2 when f of x is the natural logarithm of 2, it's easy to evaluate. But when presented in the limit form, it requires more work and an understanding of the limit definition of a derivative. All right. So step one is we're going to find f prime of x. So step one, find f prime of x. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. f of x is the natural logarithm of x. The derivative of that using your differentiation rules, f prime of x. Hopefully you remember that this is 1 over x. And then step two, we're going to find the derivative evaluated at 2. Okay, remember a is equal to 2. So f prime of 2 is simply going to be 1 over 2. We substitute 2 in the derivative function. And there goes your final answer. We can see that the correct answer is option letter C. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or need clarifications, please include it in the comment section below, and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.